Raymond. Hey, congratulations for a complete season for Quantum Leap. Thank you so much, Gag. Appreciate that. More of a congratulations second season. I mean, how do you feel about this? Uh, it feels great. It feels great that uh, we get another season to go deeper into what our show's about. Uh, it feels great that we get to explore just more of the show uh, and that that folks are watching. So tell me, in your opinion, what is the secret to success for Quantum Leap? Um, you know, I think the show, what it does really well is, uh, is it's an empathy machine, right? I, I, I think to, to walk in someone else's shoes and in this particular conceit of the show, I, I am literally in the shoes of another person and to show the audience what the perspective is like living in another person's body, uh, being surrounded by those family members and their friends and what they're in, into and what their struggles are. Um, you know, that's what the show does really well in, in, in showing those different worlds and, 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 and learning how to get this person out of a really difficult situation. And, uh, you know, as long as we are doing that well and, and tying in, um, you know, the heart and the history and these brushes with history. Uh, I think our show will continue to do well as long as we, we keep those main things intact. Now, playing the role of Ben Song must be an actor's dream. Was, was, it, was, it, was, it, was it the ideal role for yourself to jump into this character and that you technically get to play not just one character, but dozens of characters? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I grew up playing pretend. You know, I'm, I'm an only child. I had a, a very vivid imagination. And I, and I grew up playing every single character that I ever saw on television and movies in my living room. And they ranged from every age to, 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 to every different types of genre. And I wanted to do it all. And with this show, like you said, it is, it is an actor's dream. And uh, I, I don't take a single moment of it, a single episode of it for granted. Uh, and uh, I, I cherish it very deeply. It's, it is a dream. So how do you transform into one one character to another character. I mean, I can't imagine, I, I I imagine it's probably just like Ben's song, leaping into a character and you have to figure it out real fast. Uh, I would I would say your imagination is correct there. Uh, I, I It starts when I'm in the dressing room and I look at the clothes that are in front of me and I go, okay, so uh, these are the types of shoes that they're gonna wear, it's a three inch platform. Okay, that's great. Uh, okay, it's a pantsuit. I, I, okay, this is, it, it, this is how I, this character likes to move in this. And when I show up on the day, I look around. The, our incredible art department has already set it up so that we're in the 1960s. So I'm like, okay, that's the vibe here. Oh, look at our incredible actors who have already uh, imbued their characters with this affectation. And so now I'm just kind of like in this world already and going back to having a vivid imagination boom, I'm already in that setting. And, uh, you know, we just kind of go off from there. Now, what's really interesting is sometimes we have to shoot things out of sequence, a lot of times, actually. So piecing together the story is actually one of the most difficult parts of it, working backwards sometimes and working from the middle. But as far as imagining myself in that circumstance is actually fairly easy. Most excellent. And one more thing before I let you go, Raymond, being a a leading actor on a, on a TV show like this is terrific. Being an Asian actor on a leading TV show is even better. Could you remark about that? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, uh, I don't know if that's a question, and that, uh, <laughs> and if and if that's the statement, I I am fully doubling down on that statement because. Yeah, it is great. It is. Uh, it's everything I've ever dreamt of. I, I always wanted to be the center of the narrative. I always, you know, I looked at characters like Harrison Ford and in Indiana Jones, and I, and I always thought that I, I wanted to be the center of the narrative for an adventure story. And here I am now. And uh, to to see, you know, it's it's hard for me to objectively think about it because I'm seeing myself in it, and I'm not seeing another actor in it. But it is pretty re remarkable objectively that a person that looks like myself can be the lead of a network drama. And um, 
it can only, it only marks progress. And I hope it only inspires a generation of, of kids that, that, that look like us to, to be able to dream this way too. Moa Saxon, congratulations, Raymond. Thank you for talking to us and let's hope for four more seasons. Let's go.